we are at <laughs> this is level there. One, two, three. <laughs> I said I'd find you Said that we'll be okay Oh god, you're Hey guys, so we are headed to the train station right now With all our languages and stuff Yep, so I'm just trying to carry everything over Anyways, we're heading to Seoul today And yep, it's like literally 7 or 8 in the morning and we're going to catch the 8.50 train to Seoul which takes about 3 to 4 hours and so we're just going to grab a quick bite before we head over and I'll just probably include some footage that I took while we are in Busan which to me actually wasn't really that fun and I wouldn't really recommend people coming here actually I guess it's an unpopular opinion but yep, I don't think there's really a lot to do we were here for like three to four days but I'll just include some of the more interesting footage that I took over there Yep, and our friends Jasper, Audrey, Minhua and Jeremy are also in Korea or in Seoul already so we're going to meet up with them when we get there Yep, so my brother and Lucas is just looking at the food options that we have and catch you guys when we are in Seoul we are rushing again. We are literally left with two minutes. And we are all the way at the front. <laughs> okay, we'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so we made it. And one more minute, and we will be very, very late and miss the train already. Somehow, because we reached quite early. Yeah, the vintage shopping here is definitely much better than Busan's. Yeah, but it's a bit pricey, la. It's like, let me see if I can focus on the price. Yeah, it's 168 Sing dollars for Kahat. Yep. So you have some jewelry pieces as well. Oh, they have like ties as well. This Kenzo tie looks cute. So we are in a different vintage store now and this jacket actually looks pretty cute with all the pockets and stuff like that. Don't know whether they include the price, I'll check it in a bit. They have pieces like these as well. It's quite thin and stackable for Singapore's weather. Yeah, other than that, 
maybe their pants are quite cool. Let me show you this. It's like a parachute pair of pants, quite vibes, I guess. But it's like 150. It's like a skiing pant. So I think this pair of pants looks pretty good as well. This very distressed looking colored. But it's like 80 bucks, so I'll consider. And it might, the waist might be a bit big as well. So this vintage store also has pretty cool pieces for girls as well. Yep, so they have all these like very Japanese vintage jeans and skirts like this which kind of has a bit of Miu Miu vibes and stuff like oh it's very short eh? Cool. Okay, so we're in another vintage store now and this pair of pants is quite interesting with all these details, like your pocket details. Yep. It's in navy and they do have like quite a number of pieces made from like, I think they upcycled other jeans and stuff. So I'm gonna try a pair now and see, it looks quite cool. And it's like 95 bucks, which is still reasonable for a pair of pants, I think. Yep, and they have other pieces like these as well. And the one we saw that made us came into the store was this pair which is like hand-painted to see 8-ball jeans which is quite cute as well. Yep. Okay, so this is the pair of jeans that I said and I'm trying right now as you can see all the details on the pant itself. Yep, just that it's a little bit loose so I wore the shoes to see. But since they buy still a lot of to go other shop. Yeah, but it's actually quite a, quite a bit loose if you can see. Yeah. But I guess with a belt actually it's quite okay. Like it's not falling off me yet. So this is the kind of painted pants. It's not the design is nice but I don't really like the I don't really like the fit of the pants on the body compared to the previous pair over there. Yep, this one is a bit more too nice already though. Too tailored. Yep. Okay, so I'll just get that I guess. It's quite impressive. So I'm gonna give the prawn to Lucas. Yep, and we are waiting for some more sides. Looks good. So we're going into this store. This is never dead. And yeah, we met up with the rest already. Hey. Hi, we are at This Is Never Dead. First time come here. Yeah, not nice at all. So now we will show you guys around the shop and show you some things that we like. Okay, so this is one of the sweatshirt that we found. It's pretty cute. And they have it in another color as well. Which one do you prefer? I think the pink one. I think this one quite vibes. Yeah. And my brother is trying on something also. Some blue shorts. A lot of colorful shots here as well. Okay, so we are around neighborhood now. As you can see, after a train ride and almost like 2 km of walking, we got back to where we originally were. Quite close. Okay, let me try to push this luggage up. Okay, yep. So we're gonna show you guys the place in a bit after we catch our breath. So we just got to our Airbnb. So this is quite a vibey little room space as you can see. Where we can hang and eat and there's like all these cutesy little things. Which I think is quite vibey to take reels and stuff with the natural light. Yep, and yep, let's go up and see what is there because it's like a stair. So this will be like my mom and I will be sharing this room probably. It's the kitchen space and here's one washroom. So we're gonna go up now and see what is there. It's a really narrow staircase. Wow. 
This is like a little Japanese tatami space, like that. Take. <laughs> Yep, so here's the balcony outside my room with my mom over here. Yeah. All day, man. All day, man. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Okay, stand keep it up. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You just> stand up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, 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 thank you. Balance you or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Try asking for help, No, mommy, just eat, just put your mouth and eat already. Oh shit. Oh shit. You drink still. Okay, after the tragedy, my mom just wants the cone. <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> we were supposed to just eat, sing out the ice cream and eat the cone. Morning, so it is almost 11 now. And we're gonna grab a quick bite. So we just left our Airbnb not long ago. Uh, my brother and Lucas are going to do their tattoo. Wow. I'm gonna meet Jasper soon. And maybe Audrey. And we'll be going to this. Mm, plastic surgery clinic and then I'm gonna go for a consult and see what they suggest yup and then we will see what they suggest for me to do whether I'll do it's another thing but I mean we're in Korea right so it's good to just go for a quick free consult and try yup so catch you guys after our light meal and when we head over to Gangnam Okay, so we just had our lunch and now we are going to um, the ATOC clinic in Gangnam which is just there I'll show you guys in a bit and then we'll see what the doctor recommends okay? with Jasper and Audrey's back view yep. quite excited to see what they will say I just did a CT scan and took photos. I don't know why, I thought I'd just go for consult only though. So we will see. Yeah, just first just behind me. And now we're going to another clinic. So we are waiting for the doctor now and here's my bone structure, I think. I think it's mine lah. You think? No, no, they, they take some for bars and all. Okay, so she's saying my bone's a bit small. This yeah. mm. mm. So the conclusion is uh, Oliver's mm. <laughs> face is not fat, he just has a very very small jaw, so don't ever call him fat. Okay? So I have a small skull apparently. Yeah, and has... Very small skull, very small jaw. People <laughs> usually have to remove jaw, but uh, I need to add bone. bone to the, uh, the jaw. Who want to donate their bones to me? Yeah. Yeah. So she's finding something that's similar to mine. But like if I do the, anything, because she say usually guys the face not so small. Mm. 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 Oh, if you do like that, you will GG. Oh, the back is a little short. The jaw is a little bit like this one. It's a woman. It's very short. It's a little bit like this one. You see, that's the same as your mother, you know, that's why your, your hair is very low. Your, your this bone mm, is very low, lower, that's, why, right? that's why the hair dropped down. Mm. Okay. By the way, this is not the doctor, right? We already kept a consult with him just now, mm. but so, we didn't film. Yeah. So over here, right, so basically what the doctor is saying is, this part here, uh, it might look like it's fat, but it's actually not fat. It's because his jaw here is very small, so everything is congested here. And he has a very, uh, Weird thing is because they took the CT scan and they saw that actually the bone, we have this throat bone thing mm. that's usually inside here, mm. but his is lower to here. So if you touch it, it is actually a bone, which is why his jaw drops like this. So there's nothing much they can do to remove this, to mm. give him the jawline. So for medical reasons, he said I might have to do like a oh, box. Yeah. Yeah. 
真的有这种大的骨头的话，明显效果。但是你的话，完全不一样。它都还算是北招，所以就骨头很小。See, so it's not fat, it's no bone. 嗯 ，unfortunate。要宣传的话，可以宣传这个。嗯，太矮了这边。然后。Very short. 嗯。So this this distance is usually a lot longer, but his is very short. For shy, for guys, for young, you, uh, usually is forty-five. 对，通常是四十五，还有这个舌骨会在上面一点。嗯，你的话有一点是。Yeah, so just now you know we were saying a thing that dropped down. So this thing that dropped down is actually over here. Yeah. 嗯，骨头也是。So for medical reasons, I might have to. 嗯，那来个 see how it goes. 帮你整理一下。我们如果要找你的话，嗯、需要找你吗？还是？你有微信，加了微信对吧 ？WeChat。WeChat 没有。没有加吗？我给你们呃名片。名片那等一下我到前台帮你找你。好 ，OK。So just the pricing and we'll consider. OK. Okay, so we just finished our consult. We just wanted to ask anything, ah, surprisingly. Yeah. So perfect, perfection. <laughs> so. <laughs> So we decided not to do it because she said like the effect won't be like very strong and stuff like that. And yeah, I think it's still okay. I don't feel like it's a very big issue for me. So it's like for the price, I don't think it's worth. Yeah. So I suggest you guys. Okay, it's very tempting though, but so we are gonna stay natural. <laughs> okay, catch you guys later. Bye bye. So we're gonna have a quick. Break at this place called Old Fairy Donut, and it looks pretty cute actually. Yeah, I think the interior is all like orange and stuff like that. So let's see. My friend recommended this place. Hopefully, it tastes really, really good. So the interior is really, really quite cute, and the food as well as you can see. Yep, with the menu here. Okay, the foods and drinks are here. Looks good. <laughs> My mom is shocked. So I'm in leisure now. So here are some dash shoes, tubbies, some men's clothing here. Some of the Magella fits. And I tried the rings as well. So there's a lot of second vintage shoes here. So if you guys want like a bit of branded shoes, you can come here and see. It's like Giuseppe Zanotti's, Valentino, and I think normal sports shoes as well. If you guys are interested, yeah, I just got scared by this literally. <laughs> and there's like Gucci, off white. Yep, but I don't think I'm getting the. Yeah, and there's golden goose as well, which I think is a good buy because golden goose they usually already look a bit dirty, so you won't be able to tell if it's used or not. Yeah, let me see. Oh, there's like a mulberry bag for just 150 bucks. Yep. Um, other than that, let me see if there's any cute stuff. Yep. So we found this pair of Magella sneakers. In this vintage store, which I thought was not bad. I think it's like 100 plus if I'm not wrong. I think, uh, I thought I'd check it. <laughs> yeah, that's quite cute. I'll probably get it. So I saw this pair, which I thought was quite cute for like intern. But it's a bit small and they have really cool shoes, like very Y2K, like Gucci's and stuff like that. So you can always check this place out in Giro Secure. Yeah. Morning. So we are here at Plan again, but today is the full force, like everybody is awake. So we had the falafel, some pomodoro pasta, mac and cheese, and the mushroom burger again, and hummus, bread. And I got the chai latte again, because it's really good. And yeah, after this, we're going to go to Hangan Jin and find Audrey. And I would like to go to the diesel shop there, so. And now we're finally at the diesel store, a place where Oliver has been trying to go to for a long time. And he already saw something cool, like this belt. Mm. 
Oh, sorry, Oliver, you got it wrong. It's not a bell. Oh, it's not a bell. Yes, it's not a bell, Oliver. Okay, let's go. Let's okay, let's go. Follow me. Okay, let's go. So my brother said he almost bought this bag. It's quite cute actually, but it's a thousand dollars each. Yeah, that's not bad. So they have really cool fits like that, and I'm just trying to film bits for you guys. So they don't really allow filming, but I'm just trying to get some pics for you guys on the store and how it looks with all the cool bags like that and pieces like these. This shirt is quite cute. So we're in a shop called Casina and it's quite vibe. Young show the pants. Yep, so this pair of pants looks pretty interesting. And they have jackets as well. What's the price? Like? Oh it's 350. And the jackets are quite cool as well. Show the black one. And the pants behind is quite cute. Yep, the black pants behind? Yeah, all quite vibes actually, quite cute. Okay, so I haven't bought anything today and I thought, okay, maybe I can spend like 300 plus on a pair of pants. So this is quite interesting. Like the details of the pant, it's like a seam from the top and it comes all the way to the bottom and it kind of flares out like this. And it's by this brand called, let me see. Yep, so it's $348. It's by this brand called um, Cost Per Kilo. Yep, and this is the back. It's quite simple. Okay, and this is a bit blur in quality. Yeah, okay, I'll show you guys the other pieces as well. Okay, so the next piece is this, which looks quite vibes actually. And this is the tailoring. And it has details like these tassels. It's also by Cost Per Kilo. And the back is like that, which is, I think it's quite cute as well as more details to this pant and there's a matching jacket as well which I will show you guys now and hang it for you to see I don't know whether I get a full set but the jacket is also like 300 plus so it's a bit expensive right together la. but it's quite cute with the details like these yeah and I don't know but I don't know how often I wear this though it's very quite statement, I guess. Yep. Yep, so this is the first pair of pants. It actually fits quite well. And you can see the details of the you know this castle thing. Yep, it's quite cute actually. Maybe I'll get this as a, like a replacement for my Carhartt pair of pants. Yep. Uh, so I'm trying this jacket now. Okay, like the spraying details just quite interesting, but I'm not really feeling like collarless jackets. And this is the pen. It's not bad, but yeah, I think I'll prefer the other ones more wearable. Yeah. Let me know when I come back at a vegan store now, and everything is vegetarian and vegan. So there's like jajangmyeon. Chicken, vegetarian chicken, and this sweet sour, yeah. and then there's a very irritating Jasper. Yep. So all of us are here today. Some sweet sour chicken as well. So we're choosing some hanbok for our mom. This one is quite actually just a bit like a curtain design, not so nice. But this is quite cute. These blue ones. Now mommy try, you see? You can have a team, maybe if you should wear blue, you can wear all blue or something. You should, you should. Something. Something that's like free, hair braiding for us. So my mom is already doing her hair. Oh, yes. A hanbok, and she's very excited. She just quickly sat down. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. Mom just chose her back. Okay. And now we're gonna take a picture. <laughs> yep, 
So my mom says I'm pretty. Well, I'm cute. So now we have Oliver walking with his mom. Looking good. Looking cute. Yep, so now I don't know what we're gonna do. We're probably gonna take more pictures. But this is the fit. It's quite cute. So you guys can see. <laughs> yeah. See this? We are officially in to the palace. And yeah, if you rent like the humbox and the traditional outfits, you can enter the palace for free. So I'd rather you just rent them, like pay 15 bucks for it, than pay for the entrance. Okay, we're gonna love this Berlin, this BBB bagel house, baked bagels and by Berlin. It's really cute and everybody's recommending this place so far so we're gonna try it and the place smells really very good yeah. let's see what I can eat so as a vegetarian you can eat these eh, not this this and some of these actually okay the bagels are here they say it's amazing hopefully it really lives up to its name yeah, just always bully me like that, guys. Remember his name, Jasper Go at 42? Get your own, get your own fault, huh? I'm not, I'm not sharing fault. Yeah. See you guys. Okay, so I found this cute upcycled jacket. Okay, it's the last day already of our trip. So I'm trying to quickly source any nice cute things. The front looks fine only though, but it's 125. And they have the black one as well, like the pants material that I had. But it doesn't look as special, I think. Yeah, the back is quite normal. <laughs> and this is quite a nice piece actually. With the details, but it's too big for me. Yeah. Okay, I'll not feel my rush. I don't have a flight to catch. Okay. Okay, right now we are rushing. At the airport, our boarding time is 6, it's about 5.30 now. So we just need to check in our baggage and do tax refund. Hopefully in less than 45 minutes, so we can be on our train, plane. Catch you guys in a bit.